We can, thank you. Okay, thank you for the introduction. My name is David Kiko, and I am a researcher at the University of Toronto in Canada. And uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, this package called uh, Gene Expression from GEO, uh, which is uh, an R package that uh, makes it very easy to read data from Gene Expression Omnibus GEO, that is the world repository of uh, Gene Expression data. Uh, thank you, R. Madison, for uh, giving me the chance to present. Uh, this is the, the paper about uh, uh, this uh, package that I uh, published a few years ago. The, the, the package is available on CRAN. And uh, so, as uh, many of you probably know, Gene Expression on Mimus uh, is uh, an online repository of thousands of data sets of uh, microarray gene expression and of uh, RNA methylation uh, developed and maintained by the National Center for Biotechnology Information, CBI. And uh, the data sets uh, available on GEO can be used for new scientific analysis or also for a meta analysis by selecting data sets that uh, derived from the same uh, gene expression platform. Uh, for example, if one wants to uh, perform uh, an analysis uh, on uh, data of cancer on multiple data sets, um, they can uh, select uh, data sets uh, having uh, the word derived from the um, uh, platform Affymetrix uh, HGU133A, um, that is uh, uh, one of the most popular um, platforms of Affymetrix. And uh, by selecting data sets uh, of the same, uh, deriving from the same uh, um, platform, they can uh, be sure that uh, they're gonna have the same uh, probe sets, uh, the same uh, um, will be compatible be between each other. And so they will be able to um, first, of course, do the batch correction and then do their, their um, uh, the scientific analysis on all of them and maybe find, uh, uh, check if the genes, the most relevant genes for a specific outcome found on one particular uh, data set are also relevant uh, uh, in another data set, for example, pro prognostic genes or diagnostic genes. And um, so this aspect is extremely useful for ge the general generalizability of scientific discoveries uh, because being data sets of the same platform uh, compatible between each other, they can uh, serve uh, <clears throat> as uh, by <clears throat> validation cohorts or discovery cohorts for the studies, which unfortunately this is not the case of uh, electronic health records because uh, as we know, uh, many times, uh, most of the times, uh, <clears throat> data sets of the same um, disease, for example, but arriving from different hospitals, they have different features uh, uh, with different meanings, so they cannot be compared, let's say. The data on uh, um, GEO come uh, with uh, uh, the uh, patients uh, uh, the or the samples in the columns and the prop sets of the, um, the, prop set of the platform uh, on the rows, where prop sets are sets of fragments of DNA uh, known as uh, hybridization probes and represent a precise point uh, in the genome for that platform. So, which means that uh, uh, it's exactly that uh, specific uh, point in the in the platform that uh, represent uh, uh, contain that data that that data. And each probe set can uh, correspond to a single gene. But a single gene can correspond to multiple probe sets, to two probe sets, let's say. Um, so it's not a one one uh, relationship. So, for example, the probe set 203072 underscore at is a probe set for the GPL 96 Affymetrix platform, and it refers to the uh, MY. O1E gene symbol, that is a, G, a symbol of the, um, it's the myosin IE protein coding genes, gene. 
And uh, um, of course, uh, as you can understand, uh, it's necessary to uh, perform a mapping between these probe sets and these gene symbols. And uh, there are already some packages that perform that, like JITSET and annotate. Uh, but this, the usage of these packages can be a bit difficult for for um, um, for beginners. So on CRAN and Biconductor, there are some uh, um, there are some uh, software libraries that automatically download the data from Geo, in particular Geo Query, that is. Uh, quite used and quite uh, famous. And as I mentioned, there are other libraries such as Annotate and JetSet that can annotate the symbols to probe sets. But um, as I mentioned, they are a bit difficult to use for beginners because they have many fields uh, and especially annotate many fields and the object that comes out from GeoQuery it has a complex structure, uh, a list of fields that uh, might not be easy to use and understand by beginners and students. So a few years ago, when I was facing these problems, I decided to develop a new R package that would do both these jobs uh, in an easier way. G and I call it uh, Gene Expression from Geo. And so it has two main assets. It downloads, uh, um, it allows users to download a dataset from Geo in an easy way just specifying the um, code parameter of the geo data set and it saves it into a data frame and the second feature that it has is that uh, it associates the gene symbols with the probe set of the downloaded data set and this feature is uh, uh, this asset is available for 19 different platforms not for all unfortunately and uh, yeah you can install it on uh, uh, from CRAN, install dot packages, uh, gene expression geo, load it with a um, usual command that you all know, library gene expression from geo. And let's see an example. Let's pick this uh, data set uh, called GSE3268. It's uh, a data set of gene expression profiles of squamous lung cancer cells uh, used to identify genes that are uh, different, uh, differentially regulated. Um, that's the title of this uh, data set that can be found online on GEO and was released in 2005. Uh, the comments uh, to use uh, uh, gene expression from GEO are very simple. So first we have a flag associated symbols to genes that we put to true because we want to retrieve the, the gene symbols of the uh, probe sets and the verbose uh, uh, parameter set to true that says that uh, it can, uh, we want to print the messages and data set code that is just the code of the data set that we want to download, GSC3268, that is uh, um, what we just saw in that example on lung cancer. The call is uh, very simple, gene expression from geo, data set code, associated symbols to genes, verbose, one line. And so this command will uh, uh, download the data set and associate the genes uh, symbols. And uh, we saved uh, this uh, data into gene expression DF, as I call the variable here, which is an R data frame of uh, approximately 22,000 rows, which are the probe set, and 11 columns that are uh, 10 samples uh, of the data set and the gene symbol variable. Uh, so this is just a screenshot of the uh, execution of this, uh, of this command. The, um, data set, if you put um, verbose equal to true, it will uh, uh, print out the information like the, the features contained in the data set. And then it will uh, uh, start a loop to associate the gene symbols to the prop set IDs. Um, the results, uh, uh, it's something like this, that is that you can see this slide, uh, which the, I printed with a head command. So on the, <clears throat> on the rows, there are the probe sets, the original probe sets of the platform for this uh, um, data set. So uh, 1007 underscore S and underscore 80, 1053 underscore 80 and so on. Uh, on the columns, uh, you can see the uh, samples, uh, except the last one, <clears throat> that is a new column called gene symbol. 
that associated the uh, gene symbols that it found to their corresponding genes and to the corresponding probe sets. So for example, the, uh, G, the probe set 1053 underscore at was associated to the gene RFC2 and uh, the following probe set to the gene HSP86 and so on. For the, for the last gene, one, for the last probe set 1294 underscore IT, the gene symbols found were, were two. And uh, uh, it's also possible that uh, some genes might not be found, some gene symbols might not be found. So the first row that you see uh, didn't find the, the genes, uh, uh, the gene symbol for the probe set 1007 underscore S underscore AT. <laughs> uh for John, the we have just less than a minute left now just fyi yeah i'm done um uh, for the future developments i i we plan i plan to to insert uh, to allow users to use more annotated more platforms and possibly uh, i would like to add uh, a parameter for uh, possibly automated batch correction this is the end and uh, yes again uh, who wants to know more about it can read the paper or can write me an email and I will be happy to answer any questions if there are. Thank you. Davi, thank you so much. That was a really wonderful and, and very interesting. Yeah, working with these large repositories of gene data can be quite difficult and these tools are incredibly useful. Thank you. Are there any questions Thanks from the you. audience? All right. Um, well, if there are no questions at the moment, we will uh, we can continue those in the chat if you'd like.